show you how to set up this feeder. There were four screws that were required for this. Two on each side, one holding the hay rack and then the other holding the bowls. Here it is installed. I did have to make an adaption on my tank because I have a 55 gallon tank that my gerbils are in and it wasn't quite wide enough but I was able to set it on top securely. They're really small and they couldn't budge it so I just set it on top there. I'm putting my litter in there. You could use a litter pad here if that's what your pet uses. Mine prefers to use this and I can just dump it out in the trash when I do a cage change. After spreading that around I was going to add some food in there. Um, you can put water on one side and food on the other but I have two gerbils and one of them likes to hoard all the food so I decided to put food on both sides so that my other gerbil could get a fair share and just do my normal watering can there. Here is some dust powder for them. Now there is a hay allergy so I decided to just put apple straws and nesting materials in there and some other treats for them to dig around with and use. Here you can see my gerbils are exploring everything and wanting to see what's going on here. I like that this is made out of pine wood and stainless steel. You got some natural materials and the plastic's pretty strong there too. It's not likely that my gerbils will try and chew through those. They have used litter trays before and they generally like them. This has a three in one option so you can feed them, water them, and have their hay there. And they can also use the litter tray for going to the bathroom. Um, like I said, we have a hay allergy so we don't use it for our gerbils, but they still enjoy this all the same with their own treats. This can be used for a lot of different critters that you have in your home, be it guinea pigs or hamsters or gerbils, even rabbits. And this is Monk and Remy. They're enjoying their new space and I think yours will like it too. Thanks for watching.